guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be filming a tag video. This tag was created by Kara Emily 03 and she was the first YouTuber I ever watched. I'll leave a link down to her um, YouTube page later on. And the tag is the ideal palette tag. So basically when you go to a shop, you go to Sephora, you buy a palette and then you go like Oh my god, how I wish there was this colour in the palette. This would have made it perfect. So this tag is more about creating your own palette with your own colours and there are certain rules to it so let me go through with you all that. There will be two highlight shades, two um, lid colours, two crease colours, two outer shades and two bonus shades so that can be anything. And lastly, it will be your ideal packaging so you, sh you can choose any packaging you want. So I think this will be super fun to film. If you like to see this video, please keep watching. Well, firstly, for the two highlight shades. First highlight shade is going to come from the Naked 2 palette. It's going to be the colour Foxy. It's a matte toned um, highlight shade. It has a yellow base to it so I really like it a lot. So it's this colour right here, you can see it's a bit sheen. So I thought for my highlight shade, one could be matte and the other could be shimmery. So you have a choice between both. So the shimmery one comes from my Nick, um, Chocolate Bar palette, Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. It's this colour right here. If you have been watching my videos, you should know that I'm in love with this colour. I use it practically in all my tutorials. So yeah, it's just a, it's a highlight shade that has a pink undertone to it. So it's so pretty, it suits all skin tones. It's a colour that has like a champagne touch to it too. Ah, so pretty. The camera doesn't do justice to this. This is much more pink toned in real life. Next are two lid colours. Actually, both lid colours are going to come from the same palette because I just love these two colours and it will go perfect in my own palette. Too Faced Pre Rebel palette. The first um, lid shade will be Ring Leader. It's just a champagne tone with a... No, it's a champagne colour with a pink undertone to it. It's so pretty on the lid. You can just do this and then do a brown the crease. It will look amazing. I love it so much. This this color right here, I don't think you can see it on my finger, but I'm sure you can see it here. And it's so pigmented. It looks alike to my other two shades, but it not it's not. It's more, 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 much more pink colored. And the next one is Instigator. Is this gold color? This gold from this palette because it's so pigmented. It's so beautiful, and I use it all the time. So I thought I go with this. Let me show you how pigmented is this. Okay, I'm almost hitting pen on it. You see, it's more like a pigment, it doesn't seem like an eyeshadow to me. Like the formula that they use is amazing. You see, this is just one swipe. I'm not even kidding, this is one swipe. This cannot be compared to any other gold I've seen. This is like the best gold ever. So I really like that a lot. Next up are two um crease colours. So the first crease colour comes from my Too Faced, a few of my favourite things palette. You can see that I have a lot of Too Faced palettes because I'm in love with their formula and the way they do their colours. It's Chocolate Milk, it's such a beautiful colour that would match any skin tone on the crease and it's so subtle, it's just to give you that transition that you need for your crease. I don't even know if you can see it but it's right there below the gold. So it's just the perfect amount of colour for the crease and it just gives you that transition that you need. This is not for a very like cut crease look, this is just for the transition that you usually give it before putting your eyeshadow or right after putting your eyeshadow. My next crease colour comes from the Naked Basics palette. It's just a neutral palette. It's this colour right here. It is called Faint. It's a darker kind of a brown and you always need a brown for your crease. So, you can see. The thing that I like about all these colours that I'm using is that it's super universal. You can use it on any skin tone and it would go amazing. It's not those colours that only work on fair or dark skin tone. So, it's this colour right here, you can see. If you build it up, it will give you a much more prominent colour. Next up are two Outer V colours. So for the first Outer V colour, it comes from my Naked 2 palette again. You can see that I'm like repeating a lot of the palettes, but that's only because these are the palettes that I use almost every single time. I don't grab anything else. So the colour that is going to go on my Outer V, it's the colour Snake Bite right here. It's such a pretty Outer V colour. Oh my god, I can't express how beautiful this colour is. I'm sure a lot of you have the Naked 2 palette and you know how much, um, how pigmented and how beautiful this colour is. It's shimmery, it has a gold undertone to it and it's that typical brown outer V colour. It's below the shade, this is the shade. Love, 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 love. And for the next outer V colour, I always use maroon on my outer V and my crease so I could not leave that colour out in my ideal palette. So <laughs> that colour comes from my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. It's this colour right here, I don't have the name to it but this is what it looks like. It has a purple tone, a red tone and a brown undertone to it so 
super beautiful and I don't think the camera will do justice to this colour but I love this colour it's like the perfect 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 outer V shade I could just live with this one colour for my outer V like no joke for my crease my outer V everything I just love this colour so the last category are two bonus shades so it can be any colour that you want in your palette a perfect palette needs a black shade what, how many, however many black shades you have in a palette it, you never get enough of it so the black that I'm going to use in my palette is Cray from um, Naked Basics from Urban Decay I just like this a lot because it's not super duper black that it's going to make your eyes look like you've got a blue black but it's just the right amount of colour and it's so pigmented that's what I like about this you can see for my last bonus shade I always use a blue you can use a blue for anything for the outer V for the crease for a shadow color if you're doing a smoky eye look so I always need to have a blue with me so the blue that I have chosen comes from the NYX Love in Paris palette it's just a navy blue color that is so pretty oh my god the brush fell but it's this blue right here is so super duper pretty I love 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 it I actually mentioned this in my haul and I've fallen in love ever since. So this is gonna be the last colour on my pale in my palette. I love it so much. I love this palette. Oh my god, this is this is like typically my really really ideal 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 palette. I love it so much. I can't st I can't stress enough how much I love all these colours and I've not seen it like on swatches all together. Amazing together. This will be like I can just use, just use this palette for the rest of my life, like, no joke. And lastly, for my ideal packaging, it's gonna be the Naked Basics palette. I just like the texture of it, how it opens and closes, and it's totally sealed. You don't have to be worried if you're going traveling, and, you know, you don't have to be worried that your eyeshadows will break or the palette will open up. So I really like it a lot, and it does have a full-size mirror, but on, in my palette, this will be much bigger. And in my palette, this will be much bigger because... I have more shades than what is here, but let's just do a sneak peek. Ah, this is what it'll look like. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> I really like it a lot, and yeah, it was super fun doing this tag video. It was so super, super fun, and I actually filmed this two times because I filmed it once and I forgot to press the record button, so this is the second time. Hopefully, I pressed the record button. Yes, I did. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, like how I enjoyed filming it. Oh my god, look at this. Wouldn't be, this be like perfection? Please give a huge thumbs up. Ah, the colours. <laughs> like, comment and subscribe. Share this video so that your friends can see what colours I like and how my ideal palette will look like. And till next Friday. Bye guys.